In this video, we tune the cruise for boost and higher RPM and the two-step. Let's get after it. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new, I'm Matt. Let's go ahead and do some road tuning. It's wet today. However, we'll still have some fun with it. Perhaps you'll learn a little something too. All right, key on. Let's go ahead and fire this thing up. Well, we'll let this thing warm up, get up to temp before I start logging. And I've got it pretty close within about three or 5%. And you can see my O2 corrections here. They're pretty damn close. So let's get this thing on the road. I'll record a little bit of the process and then we'll get into some boost. Although we might not do a whole lot of that today. This might have to be done over a couple days because it is wet outside and the tires will spin. It's already starting to spin once I get up into higher RPM, more boost. We'll kind of fine tune that stuff. Let's go. She is up to temp. Let's go ahead and start the data log. One of the cool things about Fuel Tech is most all of this is live aside from the hardwired stuff. There's a handful of things that you can't adjust on the fly, but for the most part, most of it you can. But we'll log, and then after our log, I'll show you how I go about adjusting all this stuff. It's pretty simple. I'll say one of the things about FuelTech software and its ECU is it is very simple to tune. And with this constant O2 closed loop correction, this thing's never ran better before. And you could be astronomically out as far as your fuel tables go. One of my gripes is, however, that it doesn't have a true VE table. It is kind of based off of a little bit older method, which is milliseconds for your injectors, which isn't that big of a deal. You kind of get used to what the engine likes, how many milliseconds for RPM range, load, all that stuff. So, all right, let's keep logging. Okay, I think we've got some pretty good data. Let's go ahead and download the log, and then we'll take the computer inside the office, and I'll walk you through how I go about dialing this damn thing in. <laughs> Let's go. Turn this thing off. And while we're still plugged in, we'll just hit download up here. Take our latest log, hit okay. We'll give it a moment to download. Then we'll bring this in the office. All right, we're back in the office. Let's go ahead and dive into this log and I'll show you how I would go about tuning based off of this log. Let's dive in. So here's the log. There are a couple different ways that you could approach this. Right now, since we're kind of really getting dialed in and within a handful of percent, I'm going to right click over here and move my O2 close loop correction. Excuse me, just O2 correction. And we'll move this up. I like to put it near my TPS. So that way I know what I'm doing with the throttle. And we can come up here. In other words, if I have my foot completely off the gas, there, there are some kind of transitional areas where you don't necessarily want to log that. However, the map that I was logging or that I'm about to adjust is attached to this log. And there's an option within FuelTech to attach it to your log. So if you're data logging, you have FuelTech, you could send it to a tuner and your log 
where your map is automatically attached to this log. So one way is we could click fuel table overlay. And once that pulls up, you can see that we got our O2 correction right here. And we could drag this along the timeline. Now we're within this cell right here. Really it's only 0.32% off, which is less than 1%. So we're kind of splitting hairs there. We don't really need to make an adjustment there. And we can move along throughout this file and see what we need to adjust. Here we're getting closer to 3%. My target is to be around 3% or less. So, I mean, we're pretty close, but if you're, let's say 15% out, this is a good way to really get in there and manually adjust things. However, let's close this out. And what I like to use is the, since we're getting closer and closer, what I've been using is the O2 correction overlay and it's done fairly well. So what it will do is kind of take an average of every time that cell was hit and how much it was off. And you can see here that I think the highest we're off is 3.2%. So to me, all this is looking pretty good. And then we'll just come up here to send to FT manager and that'll shoot it over to our tune. So it sent it over to our map versus RPM fuel table. And it made the adjustments and you can see that this map isn't necessarily the smoothest, so we still have some tuning to do. But down in these lower areas where you see these little boxes with this little tag in the corner, uh, down in those lower areas, I know there's a lot of people that want their tables to be completely smooth, which is totally acceptable. However, I found that tuning in these areas, it does tend to be a little, a little wavy. You shouldn't have a huge peak, but um, it's been running great this way. We'll go back and smooth it out a little bit. My main concern after this is getting into the higher boost areas. And you can see how we have the, these little peaks here. We're adding a little bit more fuel and we can smooth some of that stuff out. Uh, but for now, we'll just go ahead. We'll confirm that and we'll save it as a new file. We'll save this as number 36. Let's overwrite that one because I had done this presentation previously and didn't record any audio. However, there we go. We'll save that. And for the most part, the driving stuff is pretty dialed in. I've gone back and forth with smoothing some of this stuff out in which I will go and smooth it out a little bit, but it does kind of knock things a little bit out of whack. So I think in that aspect, it's kind of completely up to you. And I'm sure there's people that will grill me for it. Let me know down in the comments, but this is just what it likes. So let's move forward with doing some of the boost tuning and repping some trend, some tires, I guess. Let's go. Pow! It is another day, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go ahead and do some fun stuff. We'll get this thing up in the boost. It's a kick it. We made it to the streets of Mexico. The red, the white, and the green. <laughs> well, let's do some testing. Let's get our log going. We'll row through a few gears. Looks like the coast is clear. Well, 
we'll save it as a new file. Write it to the ECU. Alright, we've got that written. Let's get back on the road and see if we can't throw a little more boost at it. See where we're at feeling wise. I don't think we're too far off. We'll have a little fun and hopefully not break anything in the process. Let's go. All right, let's get our data log going. Start our log. Get her in first. Wait for some people to pass. And Go ahead and romp on it a little bit. Woo! That's nerve wracking. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and stop the log. It really gets the heart race in there. Go back and we'll check that. We'll go back to the office. We'll take a look at it. I don't want to get too stupid on the street. We can do some more tuning at the track. I'll take the car back to the eighth mile track and see what kind of times we're pulling now. But we'll pull the log back at the office and then we'll try maybe dialing in our, our two-step a little bit. How's that sound? I gave the car a moment to cool down. Now let's test the two-step a little bit, see if it's building some boost. I have yet to test that feature, so let's go ahead and do that, shall we? So I have it set up towards where it's set up to my clutch so if I press the clutch in two-step activates there we go let's log this make sure we get what data we need and have it set to 5,000 let's see if it builds up some boost <laughs> need to do some research on that because I don't want to sit here and bang on the engine and we'll circle back and see if we can't fix that issue all right we're back in the office <laughs> and I'll show you what I got and then I'll probably need to reach out to Cameron over at fuel tech see if he can't give me a little bit of help I still need to dial in the VVT with the camshafts anyways right now it's just kind of fixed because it's not something they're used to so we're still working on that but we're getting somewhere let's go ahead and take a look at what we got here okay so here is our full boost run here and we got up to wastegate which is 14 psi sometimes it'll get a little bit higher fueling's not too far off which i'm happy about so we're in the ballpark but what we can do is hit o2 correction overlay and i'm not going to worry about all this stuff down here so we got that pretty dialed i'm not going to rely on this because we weren't really doing any kind of steady state stuff down here, but we're off by at the most 4%. The rest of it's three, two, one, that kind of thing. And all we'd have to do is send that to the FT manager and we can go ahead and start interpolating, interpolating some of this stuff. So we could do it by vertical bounds and then just kind of connect some of the dots here just to smooth things out. And we can always smooth out this graph here. We do have quite the jump right here. Same thing over here. But I'm just going to let the engine tell me what it wants. And we'll keep logging stuff and we'll smooth some of this stuff out down the road. Like I mentioned, this is just kind of what the engine likes. Even though it does look a little funky, we'll go back and smooth it out a little bit. But that's going to about do it for this video. There's still more stuff I need to do. I just kind of wanted to bring you guys along for the journey. 
So I'll get this video up out on the interwebs. My plan is to try and hit the eighth mile track this weekend, weather permitted, and we'll continue doing a little more tuning and see if we can't improve our times within the quarter mile. I'm sure we will, but I'd like to add some more boost. And we can play with the timing, see if it's adding more power and reducing our eighth mile time. Let me know if you're liking this content. Some of this stuff I find a little snorific, but if y'all like it, I'll continue to upload some more. Be sure to comment down below. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and peace out.